Welcome to Initial D Land. This is gonna be an awesome day, guys. We are going around a place called Gumma. And if you guys don't know what Gumma is, um, Gumma is basically where Initial D took place. This is the Initial D town where pretty much everything was based off of. All the togays, the Night Kids toge, Takumi's toge, the different restaurants they ate at, the different parking areas they stopped at. It's so cool. So last time we were here, we stopped at two of the more basic ones. We stopped at, at Mount Haruna, which was very, very cool. We got to see the water tower where they parked off and watched all the toge, and then we stopped at Miyogi as well to run their toge. This time, we're gonna run the rest of the toges and get to see all the other different locations that we didn't really catch last time and as you guys know right back on that window over there we have my toge stickers and I want to be able to be able to get all the initial D locations on that window and say that I've driven all the initial D locations in my R34 I think that'd be really really cool we have an awesome squad here today with us we have Masa in his GR Yaris we have Albo in the Spoon FK8 we also have Yushi in his Honda Fit surprisingly it's gonna be a fun little car to drive on the toge and then we also have one of their good friends and an Altezza. That's gonna be really, really cool. I'm excited to take you guys along for today. Yesterday's video, we had a very, very late night, uh, but we stayed at this awesome hotel. It's kind of like a local Gunma hotel. It's very, very cool. And this morning, we're heading to go get breakfast, a nice traditional Japanese breakfast before we have a long day of running the mountain roads. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Fun, so I hope you guys are excited. You can probably already tell how beautiful this place is. Very, very traditional, small Japanese town here. It's, it's just as you would imagine Japan to be, or how you would see in the anime. Good to see you again, dude. What, yeah. do we, what do we got here? We got a Japanese authentic style breakfast food. Oh yeah, please. okay. I think we should give people, give the people a little background story okay. here. So Yushi's mom owns a restaurant. Yes. So you're you're a Japanese restaurant kind of sort of sorts. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> I don't know. My mom is, but I'm not. Yeah. So, but yeah. So. So if, if Yushi says it's good, then it's got to be really good. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so okay. I'll wear it this time. Yeah. This place is pretty good. So. Okay. What uh, is it? So it's just it's honestly just a simple authentic japanese restaurant so it's just like rice is made out of you know just it's made like an old-fashioned way mm -hmm. as well as just fish miso soup just really simple but it's but very tasty. japanese yes very japanese i'm excited for this you're the god oh well that's you but our meal here or part of our meal this is uh oh special Japanese rice straight from the rice field just down the road <laughs> so what it is is it just traps all the taste and the moisture why it's different is it's because of how it's um because it's done by fire mm. not by electronics so it's sort of even oh. so it tastes even so, so nice, guys. Right. Mm. Even replicate that with the high-end ones. Oh my still, god. It's not as better as it's so, it's so fluffy and full. That's what they use. Brunch. Right. Amazing lunch. Or I guess it was a brunch. 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 That was amazing. And now we can start our journey to the Toge's. We how many are we going to today? Definitely two. If we can, maybe three. So we're gonna go back to Miyogi, which is the one that we did last time. No, before on the way to Miyogi, we're gonna go to Usui Toge. Usui, uh, the girl that drove the blue. So 80. Yes. Yeah, Mako and so sick. The two girls, right? Yeah, two girls. Nice. Okay, that's gonna be really cool. Then we'll hit Miyogi again because I didn't, I wasn't able to get the sticker last time. And then we'll go back to Haruna. And then that's all. That's all Akagi. three. That's everything, right? Oh, Akagi. 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 We're Hi. trying to go to Akagi for tonight. Yeah, that would be sick. So Akagi Red Suns. We don't know we can get the stickers for it. Why? Because they're gonna close out at four. Oh, we got a then we got a boogie, dude. Yeah, we got a boogie. No, no <laughs> kombini, no snacks. Full set. It's gonna be a full initial D tour again. Really cool that the initial D creator based all of the anime off of real life locations. 
it's just so damn cool. I think we may be going to Kambini before we do that to get some snacks, get some water, everybody can fuel up and uh, get ready for our long, long day. Hey guys, we're taking a quick break in today's video to give a big thank you to our sponsor, Valvoline. When it comes to maintaining and keeping my car healthy, there's no one I trust more than Valvoline. Their VR1 oil keeps my high performance engines running strong and healthier for longer. The Valvoline VR1 is the number one selling oil, and it's specifically formulated for race level protection in all classic and modern high performance vehicles, including flat tappet performance cam engines. The VR1 also has high zinc and phosphorus formula for extreme anti-wear protection. It's formulated to maximize horsepower so that you know you're getting the most out of your engine. All right, now our Evo is all filled up. If you guys are interested in checking out Valvoline VR1 for yourselves, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link to the Valvoline website down in the description box below. You guys can find what oil fits your vehicle and which oil fits best for your car. Look at the sick lineup today. This is gonna be an awesome little trip. We've got Yushi's sick fit right here. I can't believe you, they let you take the spoon car here. That's crazy. Take the, oh the yeah, spoon car. I know. And then we also have a sick Alteza with the Beams engine. Very, very good. What have I done to the fit? So what I've done is I put some T37s wrapped it with uh, 8009s. Let's let's check it out here. Hold on. Let me see it. Hey, you really outfitted this thing for toge running, yeah? yeah. As well as I uh, put Burstein shocks in. Nice. And uh, basically bars, cost, full Costco bar under bar. Uh -huh. Basically, I haven't done anything to the engine or the exhaust because it's a work car, but sure. changed all the bushing to solid bushing as well. Wow, I think this thing feels pretty gnarly, right? Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> good. This guy's feels really good. You'd be really surprised how crazy these things can feel. In America, we have a time attack series yes. called Sunday Cup. Yes, class, okay, okay. And it's all fits, it's all uh, just fit race cars. So it could be really fun. I bet this thing's, oh, I bet this thing's pretty awesome on the Toga. It is awesome on the Toga. Like a little go kart. Everybody is fueled and ready to go. We got our snacks for the day. Now, like I said, we are gonna be heading to the sticker shop first because it closes super, super early. Let's go have some fun, guys. We get the stickers first. Once we complete the toge, we are ready to put them onto the car. to our first spot here. Yushi, where, Yushi, where are we? We're in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yes, yeah, so what is this place? This place is, uh, it's actually to the way, to Gumba way. Okay. So people used to walk, come and walk here like a couple hundred years ago. I guess. Holy yeah. crap, like, a, like an old Japanese walking road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This red line, it's basically, this is Gumba. And I'm in Naga. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, this is Naga. Package secured from Usui Toge. It's just such a cool place. I've got a nice shrine up there. Very, very old town here in Goma. Man, this place is so cool. I can only imagine all the different history and culture that this yeah. place has. There's just everywhere in Japan, like it feels like it could be its own trip. Like you yeah. could stay here for a whole week and not even figure everything out, you know? Yeah, this so this, cool. this really small cool. area in the middle of Goma. It's awesome. Okay, we got our stickers. It's time to go to the Usui Toge. Uh, so this is where Usui Toge starts. Oh yeah. Just down that corner, so. It'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Right here is where Usui Toge starts. All right guys, here we go. First toge of the day. This is gonna be amazing Usui toge. And I'm gonna put you guys onto the GoPro head mount. You guys seem to like this, which is super awesome. I'm very happy. I don't know how much of it I'll show. All right, let's have some fun. We're gonna be following the Spoon FK8, which is gonna be really awesome. Probably gonna be way faster than I am because high bars are pretty damn fast. So we'll see if we can keep up.
unfortunately looks like we caught up with some traffic up ahead, but that's what happens. Unfortunately, these things can't be dead all the time. There's the bridge. So cool. Wow, this is amazing. So cool to actually be in this location. Even though we couldn't drive the toge hard. Just being in this location that inspired a portion of Initial D is so damn cool. I hope you guys think it's cool too. I hope some of you guys are at least a big, as big of a nerd as I am for Initial D. And actually being able to come to all these locations and visit the real world locations. But now we are heading to Miyogi again. The Sil 80 at the bottom yep. of Usui. That is oh. so sick. One landmark down. We've got a lot more to go. Multiple, mo multiple to go. <laughs> we, we are heading to Miyogi now, which is gonna be super cool. That was my favorite toge from the last trip. So should be pretty good again. Our next stop. So if you guys, you guys probably remember me showing you this mountain right here. This is actually Mount Miyogi where we ran our toge last trip. This is my favorite drive of last trip. It was awesome. We have an entire video of us running the toge. It was really, really cool. So we're gonna do it again, but last time the shops were closed with the Miyogi toge sticker. So that's why we're here. We're gonna stop and add to the collection here and then probably run the toge again because it's super awesome. So stoked. All right, adding to the collection, guys. Are we gonna run Miyogi? Of it's course. Sick. Why? Oh, why? I, was, I was hoping you would say yes. Why? <laughs> why Why? Why we say no? I didn't even realize this last time you were here. All right, guys, let's have some fun. Heading to the start of Mount Miyogi Toge. Hopefully we don't catch too much traffic on this one. This is a super great toge to go pretty hard on. All right. Oh, last time we filmed the uphill, hopefully there's there's just so many people here, it's really hard to get a good run in, but we're gonna head back downhill and see if we can get some, get less traffic, hopefully. But uh, last time for you guys, I showed the uphill, so maybe we'll get a downhill run this time. stuck by the bus all right well we got to do like half of Miyogi which is super sick and that view is crazy let's make it back down on to our next adventure which I'm very excited for because it's one I've never been to the Akagi Red Suns Toge which is gonna be super awesome unfortunately like I said there's just too much traffic in the afternoon like it's two o'clock here in Japan right now too much traffic on all these toges, but when we get to Akagi, it'll be a little bit more in the afternoon. Hopefully we have a little bit more of an open road, which would be kind of cool, I hope. But either way, this is gonna be super cool. One of my favorite teams in Initial D is of course the Red Suns, and this is their home toge. So this I think is going to be a pretty awesome. <laughs> Man, the R34 needs a good wash and a new lip. This thing has been beaten. Oh my God. Nothing like a little mid toge adventure uh, ice cream run. Yep. To break up the- What is that? To break it up. This is a little green tea. Ah, my favorite, my favorite Haagen-Dazs. Yes. I got a melon, mask melon. 
It's like driving through Toge heaven. Kanpai. 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 There we go. Kanpai. Last stretch until Akagi. 40 minutes or so left. Yes, it's been a fun drive. Supposedly, the sunset at Akagi is really good, right? Yes. So we're gonna stay for sunset, do some drives. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Let's do it. This is gonna be awesome. This is what it's all about, guys. Spending all day with your friends, running toge, going to 7-Eleven, getting ice cream, just a quick break, then going to run more toge. Just hitting all of our favorite anime spots. This is so damn cool. Okay, we gotta go. Alright, good news. We are officially in Akagi. This is the uh, Akagi National Forest that we're going through right now. As we're driving, you can see all the tire marks from probably the late night Toge drifters drifting these roads on Akagi. It's so damn cool. One night, we really have to take the time to come out here and actually search for some late night Toge runners because that's one experience that I would love to actually have is come out here and see the locals that are actually uh, currently running this road. And it's so cool. I mean, right here you can see some tire marks from the Toge drifters. So awesome. I went on toge hunting in Hokone earlier this trip, but didn't have too much luck. I feel like it'd probably be better here to come late night hunting for some toge drifters. Next trip, next trip for sure. little I guess toge shop you could call it we have the Kagi Lake wow this is so awesome look at this it's huge check this out guys this is so sick I love how they just embrace it too you know like it's so cool Look, rubber keychains. Oh yeah, definitely gotta get some. I get every single one. Mission accomplished for the day. It was so worth it running all these toges just to get these silly little stickers. But this window is gonna be filled up pretty quickly. It's been awesome. So we have three new ones to add today. And uh, I think we might go run the Red Suns little toge again. We were just on it. Literally a hundred people on the toge right now. Which kind of sucks because we can't run it hard, but it's cool that we get the experience of actually being on the toge and just with my actual car. We did push a bit, little bit, but uh, there is just too many traffic. Too much traffic, but just getting the experience of actually putting your car on the toge, it's very, very cool. It's like it? no other. Yes, yes. It's like no other. And to see Akagi Lake in person, I figure while we're in the iconic location, we'll go ahead and put on the rest of the toge stickers from today. Sui, Miyogi, and Akagi. And last but not least, Akagi. Akagi. Well, they're probably the coolest one. Probably the most iconic one of the day, mm -hmm. Akagi. Boom. There you go. So sick, dude. Six toges in this car. Actually seven. Kobe. Oh yeah, the Kobe. Yeah, we forgot to include that. What is that one? That one was a... Uh... That, that, that's a Mount Rocco. Rocco, that's what it was. So you did Haruna, Hakone, Nokogiriyama, Akagi, Myogi, Usui. So sick, dude. Every one of these stickers has an awesome memory. Different experiences, different driving. That should have been so much fun, dude. This is awesome. 
man are you racking up the mileage of this thing yeah hey i'm getting full use dude like i bought this car to drive it not to let it sit and let it appreciate just appreciate like i drive and it's that, set it for profit i drive the hell out of this car this yes, is you do. this is my forever car this car is meant to be driven this is like my ultimate driving machine there's nothing else that i want to conquer all these toges in you know i want to build this car to complete toge circuit spec you know that's the goal and i think we're on our way it's pretty cool i mean hitting all these iconic locations in this car like all these memories are going to live with me in this car forever mm -hmm. it's going to be so cool Mm -hmm. And these videos, we have these videos like show the entire journey too. Mm -hmm. They're so cool. Man, you're lucky enough to not only drive this, but also you can experience in here and you know go to explore exactly explore japan and you get to show this to the world right so thank you guys so much for making this possible because without you none of this would even be possible i'm yeah. so happy that you guys are enjoying the content we've been creating these three weeks and mm -hmm. over these past years of me traveling here and like i keep saying my, my ultimate goal is to show you guys what it's really like to be a car guy in japan especially for a, a foreigner like me who has looked up and loved japan and the culture and the traditions and the cars ever since i was a kid showing you guys what it's really like to come out here and get a car built out here thank you guys but yeah i think we're gonna wrap up here and go run akagi and then get some dinner what an awesome day what did you think masa yeah it's awesome like it is just so cool to drive three different mountain roads in on one day. day honestly more than that because the roads here are tokes too yeah like from the I think we went from Miyogi to Akagi. We hit one of the Toge roads yeah. that it's like not very well known. Yeah. But that was a very cool road to you know go on because it was it was technical, right? It was yeah. technical. There was no one around, so we could go. We had fun. Yes. <laughs> like un unlike here, Akagi is a well known. Like. All right, guys. Well, that was pretty awesome. Hit the Akagi Toge now and uh, just head out and go grab some food. It's getting pretty late, but we did everything that we set out to do today, which I'm super excited for. Hit three separate really awesome toges, and lastly ended at Mount Akagi, which is right behind us here. So freaking awesome that we're actually here. So, okay, let's go. Dinner is storming right now. This is so cool. All right, we are gonna head back to the Airbnb and we are done for the day. I am exhausted, guys. We have finally made it back after our long, long day in Goomba. I am currently reviewing today's video. It is 1.13 in the morning. While I'm here in Japan, I have to post my video at 2 a.m. So trying to get it finished up so I can hopefully make that upload time, but it might be 2, 2.30 sometimes. It depends on how late we get home, but had a super fun drive home. A super fun drive all together. We have been driving the heck out of the R34. I drive that car so hard, exactly how it's meant to be driven, like I keep telling you guys. It is my absolute most favorite car to drive on the Toge. It's been so much fun like i am just getting every ounce 
of that car's worth out of it by just driving it here and getting all these different experiences. Not even necessarily just driving it hard on the toge, but every experience with the friends that I meet, the people that I encounter on the road, the different roads that we get to drive, like it's all just so freaking amazing. I'm so happy. I, get, I literally get to take you guys on every single journey and it's something new every single day. Um, I don't know, it just makes me really, really happy that we're able to do this. And like I keep saying, when that car comes home, it's gonna have just an insane story and sentimental value to me. Like it already has here in Japan, but like this is just the beginning. Now that we're able, able to travel here, there's gonna be so much more fun and experiences to be had with that car. So I'm just so happy that you guys enjoy it so that we can continue to do this and continue to do cooler and cooler things throughout the years. This is just the tip of the iceberg, guys. I have so many ideas, so many things in the works with this experience that I'm giving you guys in Japan. and ways to make it cooler, ways to improve and, and just do different and better things. I don't know, I'm rambling on as you guys can tell. I need to finish reviewing this video and get some sleep for tomorrow. It's Monday. I only have two more days here in Japan, so gotta make the most out of it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some rest, finish this up. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys like the Togays, let me know down in the comments below. Leave me a hashtag, made it to the end. And uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.